Have you ever made a new friend and then thought you lost them already when they had to go away for a while? Find out what happens to Lion and his new friend in our next story. Hi, this is Nancy coming to you from my home. Today I'm going to be reading to you The Lion and the Bird by Mary Ann Dubuck. Lion is working in his garden when he hears a sound. Oh, poor little thing. Lion can't just leave him there. Let's bandage you up, says Lion. That will help. Oh no, they're flying away. Don't worry, you won't be cold here. You're welcome to stay with me. There's more than enough room for both of us. For dinner, for stories, for sleeping, for brushing your teeth. All through the night. It's snowing. The snow is cold and icy, but you're snug and warm. They spend the winter together, enjoying each day, sledding, reading, ice fishing, It snows and snows. But winter doesn't feel all that cold with a friend. And it snows some more. But a crocus is starting to come up through the snow. One day, spring returns. And the others, too. Yes, says Lion, I know. So the bird flies away. Lion is sad. And so it goes. Sometimes life is like that. Lion eats his dinner and sits in front of the fire and sleeps, but he's alone. He starts his garden, but he's still alone. His garden grows and grows and grows. Summer passes slowly, softly. Then one day, autumn returns. And how about you? Lion wonders. He sees some birds in the sky. And he thinks about his friend.
Together, we'll stay warm again this winter. The end.